Now I guess I don't really need to actually fill in all of those with birch. I can just build this top uh, roof decoration. So if we hit zero and look at our materials here, we're going to need uh, a material like this spruce I'll just put here in uh, slot 10. Um, but we're going to tell them to pick up that slot and then place those blocks and we could probably just manually drag instead of using repeats um, to get that part filled. So in our program, in house one, that gets us to the point we're at now back here. After he's done with that, I'm probably going to have to have him, let's go take a look here, he's going to have to go forward rotate to the right so he'll be right here facing that way go forward again and move up so forward right forward up so we'll tell him go forward turn right forward again and move up now he can uh, we're gonna have to switch slots aren't we switch to slot number 10 and now he can start placing a block forward place down forward place down that will get us to this one two three we're gonna have to have him turn you know what actually I'm gonna put this in a separate program because I'll be able to undo it a lot easier than trying to undo this entire massive thing. So that might be a better idea. Um, I don't think there's a copy paste. <laughs> uh, let's just go back. That's okay. This is how we learn. I'm going to make a brand new desk and I'm just going to call this roof. Roof. And we did a forward right turn forward up and then we switch to slot 10 and then we had him place down forward place down the uh, forward place down wonderful now I'm gonna make sure that this house one has that in it and I'm gonna leave a little space here so I can visually tell where something different is happening here run roof um, actually let's just play roof real quick by itself since he's in that position one two three looks good so then we're gonna do a left turn forward and keep going okay Let's have him undo that last one and go edit our roof. That puts him at the end of that house one spot again. And we're going to edit roof some more. And tell him left turn forward. And then, oh, he's going to have to turn left again, isn't he? Put that up here. That way he does a complete 180 and he's turned the other way. Could do that in a circle, however you want to do that. Place down, forward. Place down, forward. And place down. And for the last one, I'll have to turn right. Go forward. Turn right. So he's doing a 180 the other way. Place down, forward. Place down, forward. And place down. Now let's play that. Good. Woo! Not bad. Now what I could do is destroy this whole house. Or heck, I could have him build a house up here in the sky. Um, let's try that real quick. Let's just throw uh, Mr. Turtle in here. We're going to fill his inventory back up. I'll just drag those in there and kind of cheat a little bit. That'll work. He's got plenty there. Watch this. We're going to move Mr. Turtle. Oops. Uh, let's just have him go way over here. We'll have him drive to a new location. Oh, we're going outside the lines here. This is dangerous. 
I'm just going to tell him to run the whole house program down here. I can't see what he's doing. Always way over here. That'll work. All right, we're on the ground. Yeah, we're on the ground. Okay. Now we'll go to our program, House 1, which includes all those other programs. Remember, my layers include my inventory switch, so he'll be switching inventory when he needs to, and then he'll run roof. So let's try House 1, which should, with any luck, <laughs> now for my students you wouldn't be able to build outside of that area because of these build allow blocks that are underneath those areas but Sertle is kind of a rebel he does what he wants he's the king as you can plainly see oh no it's building with the wrong material because I assumed at the beginning that it would default to slot 1 Stop. Undo. Yes. Maybe we should add into our code something here that says before you even run layer one, make sure you're on slot one. Set it to slot one and then run it. Hey, let's try that again, Chief. Whew. There we go. Sertle still a rebel. This is a good teaching point, though. Let's view and see how his uh, move to the side here. Program is on layer two there. Inventory is slowly going down. That's good. I don't think I can customize him while he's running. Oh, sure enough. Probably shouldn't mess with that while he's running, but it is interesting though. Well, he's sad now. Oh, very pretty. Ooh, snorkeling turtle. Much better. It's interesting that you can do that. Okay. Now, ooh, yes, he's switched to the right inventory, slot 10. Boom. Ta-da! He did it. Now, we're going to undo that. Because, well, that's interesting. Uh, we have to, we killed the grass. That's interesting. I don't play enough Minecraft, I guess. We're going to have him knock down the door at the very end when he's done. So that should probably be part of this. Um, and he ended going this way, then that way, then that way. So he ends up right there. And we need to tell him to go turn right, go forward, 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 forward. So four forwards, then down five. He'll actually be right here here then. Four forwards, down five, probably have to do a 180 so he's actually, because he'll be facing that way. And then come right here and knock out a block in front of you, go up and knock out another block. Okie dokie, we can do that in the next lesson.